Hey friends, daily dub, lunchtime edition. You yeah, know, about to take lunch. Uh, so I got a few topics today. We'll go back to some Q and A's. And before I get started, um, I know I launched the merch page yesterday. Saw a few orders. Hopefully you're enjoying that. Uh, looking at that, and uh, look forward to seeing pictures when you get it in. Um, go check yesterday's daily dub if you're interested in that. The link's also in my description. But more importantly, um. We're going to go back to uh, ask uh, answering some questions that you've asked in the comments. I'm starting to run out. I've still got 10 or 12. But if you have things you want me to talk about, please leave it in the comments so I can cover it. And, uh, and then I'll just talk about other things as well. So uh, this is going to be around uh, career and travel again. Uh, those videos seem to have a lot of interest of my, uh, of my job. So three questions today. One from Andy, and that's why I change careers. Another question is from Matt, how do I book my travel? Uh, what happens when it's last minute or is everything planned in advance? And the third question from our Matt, uh, a pet peeve or things that I want in travel in a hotel. So we'll talk about all three of those things today. So first, why I change careers? Um, I think I've talked about this briefly uh, in some other videos, but um, my main thing was I wanted to have more opportunity uh, in my life, I wanted to travel more, see the world. Uh, I wanted to have a better income. I'm just being honest. Uh, so that, you know, better income means you can do more things. And uh, while I really enjoyed my time in my previous career in education, I loved uh, being able to help make an impact in people's lives. Uh, you can still do that in the business world, which uh, I'm blessed enough to be able to do. Uh, so the key was um, I just wanted something more. I was putting in a lot of hours for not a lot of return in terms of personally, um, from a financial, from an experience perspective. And I also wanted to be able to help provide for uh, my family, for my parents, for my sisters, for my friends, um, you know, have an opportunity to be able to be more generous. And, uh, you know, and so I just looked to make a change um, in career. And, you know, a, another thing is hours. You know, I wanted to work more traditional hours now. Right now I'm on the road so much it doesn't feel like I work traditional hours. I don't work traditional hours. Um, but I, you know, I have weekends off typically unless I'm traveling. Um, regular holidays, more time off, more vacation. You know, I don't have to live by that. Well, I get this many weeks off in the summer and that's it. And I can never take a day off work or anything. So much better. Uh, so just a lot more flexibility, a lot more opportunity to do the things I wanted to do. And that's why I made a change into the business world. Uh, so for me, when I book travel, um, we do have uh, travel agents that we utilize, but we book our own travel. They just assist us if we need it. Um, we have uh, Concur, which is a pretty big enterprise corporate uh, travel management system. I'm sure any of you that work in corporations uh, at least have heard of Concur. Um, but I plan my own visits out. So I know that in the next three months, I need to go to these set of places. Uh, I kind of put the bones on a calendar. So I know I want to do this, 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 and this. These weeks I'm going to leave open in case of uh, urgent needs or flexibility. These weeks I need to stay um, home because of whatever. You know, like if I've got doctor's appointments or um, like when it's my uh, my mom's birthday and I want to be able to go see her or something like that. Um, and then here's where I'm off for vacation. So I kind of outline about a quarter at a time, three months ahead. Uh, and that that I leave room for flexibility. But just like last week, um, I found on Friday I needed to be in New York on Monday. And I was going to have to be in New Jersey on Tuesday. So I had to cancel and rebook and do all that. I had to do that last minute. Last minute things absolutely happen. Five to six times a year. I'm going to find out a couple days ahead of time that I need to be, to be somewhere either due to a situation that has arisen that I need to go take care of or a meeting that I'm needed at or whatever the case may be. Um, so, but I do book my own travel. It is hard. Um, I, I think the question was, it seems like that'd be a full-time job. It eats up a lot of time. Like I have to block off on my calendar um, time to do admin work, time to book my travel, time to make sure I'm submitting my expense reports, that kind of stuff, because it just eats up time and you don't want to forget about it. So, uh, that's how travel works. Third thing from Marv Mad, pet peeve around travel or things I want in a hotel. Uh, I know you specifically asked around, uh, hotels, but I can talk about it at, at an umbrella perspective as well. So with hotels, one thing I hate, I just had this too. 
I hate it when instead of like regular full sized or king sized pillows and you've got like two or three or whatever, they put like six of the like couch pillows on the bed. I don't understand that. They're comfortable and they're soft, but you know, big dub, you know, needs some, some, some big pillow. I don't need a pillow the size of my head, as big as my head is. I need something more than that. You know what I'm talking about. I don't like that. So I don't like it when um, when hotels do that. Uh, I'm a big fan of what they would call a full service hotel. Full service hotel, the easiest way to think about it is does it have a restaurant and a bar in it? If it has a restaurant and a bar in it, it's probably full service. There's other things like does it have valet, I think is often considered full service, or a bellhop. Can they do dry cleaning? Do they offer laundry? Uh, do they offer room service? Um, is there exercise room? Is there a pool and hot tub? Like, I think all of that kind of falls into full service as well. Uh, but the key for me is, A, do they have a lounge? You see, if you watch Daily Dub or Dub Life, I go in lounges a lot. I go in lounge at Delta. Um, my Delta American Express card gets me access to a Delta lounge in any airport that has it. Small airports don't have it. That stinks. I love it when there's a Delta lounge because it's comfortable. You got good places to sit, free food, free Wi-Fi, and you're out of the, the mess. Marriott Hotels, Hilton Hotels, Hyatt, so they all have lounges too in their full service if you have status. So I wanna stay in a Marriott that has a lounge. Again, it gives you free food whenever it's there, free drinks. You can take stuff with you back to your room. It's comfortable, TVs, private spaces to work. Um, that's important to me because when I'm on the road a lot, when I go on one of these big pushes and 20 out of 22 days I'm on the road, um, I like to just not just have the room to go back to, have like a quote unquote living room to go spend some time in as well. Uh, and then also having a restaurant and that kind of stuff so that if I don't feel like going out that night, if I'm tired, I'm worn out from the flight, whatever, I can just get some food at the hotel. Those are big things I want. Um, with a rental car, everything is status based. And if you want to know more about status, uh, please leave a comment and I'll talk more about that. Rental cars, you know, uh, I, I want to make sure either it has GPS on the screen or that Apple CarPlay so my phone will come through the screen. If it doesn't have that, that stinks. I don't like that uh, because then I have to look at my phone because, you know, when I go to Idaho, I'm not familiar with Idaho and uh, I need GPS to help me get around. So uh, I guess those are a few uh, a few things I'm looking for. But the pillow thing is a true pet peeve. I don't like that. Um, I don't like that. So anyway, that's Daily Dub for today. Hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, it is pretty warm here in Atlanta. It's in the 60s. I'm in shorts. I got my uh, Levitard shirt on. Things are going good. Um, I got to go do some beta test work. So anyway, talk to you tomorrow. You'll get a trailer tomorrow also. A trailer for the uh, for the trip to Ohio. I think it's a good trailer. You'll enjoy it. And uh, until I talk to you again, squeeze it.